three pieces of paper. Not one, not two. And a little bit of glue makes something that can fly insane. Today we make a paper plane. Well, I'm always searching for cool stuff that's worth making a video about and this time I came across something that I bet you don't know yet. Believe it or not, this is a paper plane and it flies like a rocket. And all we need is a small piece of paper, I'm gonna use a post-it, and some glue. I have this hardcore cyanoacrylate type, but any paper glue should work fine. Actually, I don't recommend that one because it's very dangerous, especially when you're building the plane with your kids. Um, you can seriously injure your eyes or glue your fingers together, so keep that in mind. That's all we need. So let's start by cutting this into three small pieces. And the last one is a little bit bigger. Let's make it oh. let's make it about eight millimeters wide. There we go. We're gonna start with the wide one. I rolled it over the edge of my table that makes it round a little bit and that helps us to make a very very small tiny paper tube that's gonna be the middle part and then roll it up as thin as you can don't rush it never rush anything in your life take the time you need and put some love into the things you craft. Slow work means precision and precise work is fast. That's one of the contradictions in life that I recommend you to keep in mind. Can you see it? We rolled it up to a nice little straw. It's gonna be the middle part. And now we're going for the um, for the wings, I guess. Let's call them wings. And for this part, we will need some glue. To make it easier, I prepared a toothpick. You roll it up to a circle, and then we're gonna glue it together like this. Now pay close attention, the next step is very critical. You subscribe to my channel and then glue this to a ring, just like that. One little drop right there. And then like this, and uh, don't glue your fingers together. Oh, I glue my fingers together. No, it's not bad. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Oh. Oh, I, I'm not sure if I'm surviving. Help. Oh, I think I got it. There you go. That's a paper ring. And then the same thing with the second one. Subscribe to my channel and then you glue this to a ring. A little, little drop of glue right there. And then pray to your gods that you don't glue your fingers together. Uh, it happened again. There we go. No, it's not that bad. Now the last step, 
first string, the middle part, and the last ring, like this. And I put it together so that it's perfectly aligned. That's maybe one of the most important steps because when it's when they're not aligned, when they're like that or like that, then they're gonna fly not straight, they're gonna fly a curve. That looks good. And now it's getting a little complicated. You have to like the video and then really fast glue the parts together. I have to take one drop of glue right there and one drop of glue right here. Correct it a little bit. And that's it. And now we wait. There we go. It doesn't look like it's flying like a rocket, but it will. And the last step, you can paint it if you want. Because as everybody knows, painting stuff you crafted makes it fly way better, of course. Now I'm gonna do my best to film it in the flying action. Wish me luck. So if you liked this little inspiration, um, please give me a thumbs up and I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel. I need all help that I can get so I can afford some super glue remover. Try it out. Change the ratio of the pieces of paper. Make it longer, bigger. Scale it up to make some super big paper plane. Experiment a little bit because that's what life is for. Have a good one. Bye.